The Timeline tab gives you the flexibility to edit your slide and transition times as well as your soundtrack in a more visual manner. Instead of determining your slide or transition times with a number, you can click and drag to visually change their time. This method makes it easier to time your slides or transitions to line up with specific beats in your soundtrack. The line that you click and drag on will change the time for the item before it, so adjusting this line will change the slide time, while adjusting this line will change the transition time. If you hold down your control key, both the slide and transition will adjust together for a rolling edit. Holding down your shift key will include both transitions on either side of the slide, creating a ripple edit. You can zoom in and out of the entire timeline by using your mouse wheel. There are also several tools available in the Timeline tab to edit and adjust your soundtrack. The Volume tool allows you to click and drag the soundtrack up and down in order to set its overall volume. This red line indicates 100% volume. The Fade tool allows you to visually set audio fades at the beginning and the end of your soundtrack. The Position tool allows you to move your soundtrack in relation to the slides, which is also known as its offset. The Trim tool allows you to trim the beginning or ending of your soundtrack, but you cannot trim the middle out of a soundtrack. Finally, you can add individual audio points using the Volume Point tool. Double click to add an audio point. A single audio point will behave as though you're adjusting the entire soundtrack. Two audio points will behave like a fade. Four audio points gives you the ability to change the audio level of an entire section of your soundtrack. To remove an audio point, simply right click on it. All of these audio tools are also available for individual slide sounds as well as sounds attached to video files.